Senate Democrats have filed a petition to restore the recently repealed 2015 net neutrality rule. The campaign is supported by Reddit, Imgur, Vimo, Mozilla, Tumblr, Tinder, and Pornhub, among others. Now, thus far, 50 senators have filed a petition to repeal the net neutrality, including all 48 Democrats, one independent, and only one Republican. The Federal Communication Commission, also known as the FCC, voted along party lines to get rid of the rule in December that would give fair and equal access to everyone in the country, arguing that internet service providers were not charging to prioritize content. Advocates of the rule have argued that absent federal regulations, the providers would create a multi-tiered pay-for-play system prioritizing some content at the expense of others. The initiative is spearheaded by Senator Edward Markey, who found two allies and colleagues in Maine and Senators Augustus King and Susan Collins. To get the 51st vote, activists have targeted moderate Republican Senators Lisa Murkowski, John Kennedy, and Rob Portman. Now, how they plan about going about this is invoking the Con Congressional Review Act of 1996, which enabled the legislature to override regulations within 60 days of them being enacted. The Trump administration has invoked the CRA many times over the past year to roll back regulations that were uh, enacted by the Obama administration. Uh, the Net neutrality is very important. There needs to be neutrality of the internet or else access will remain, significant access will remain in the hands of wealthier companies and wealthier customers of internet service providers, leaving many of the small businesses in a terrible situation and essentially will disenfranchise the vast majority of Americans in their internet access. Essentially what they're arguing is that the internet is like a public utility, like water, electricity, etc. And that as a result, it should be treated as such with a great deal of care going into how people of a lower socioeconomic status should be able to access it. Just don't bring up water in Flint, Michigan, because that's a bad example. So essentially, the Democrats are what you call being on the right side of history here. It should be noted that it's not as though they really care about the American people. They care about the smaller businesses, the smaller capitalists that they represent in trying to get a better internet access out there for everybody. Although I'm sure there's probably some people in there who legitimately care about internet access for lower income people. But this is a struggle that we that we knew certainly was coming and that the whole uh, abolishment of neutrality on the internet, thanks to largely due to Agipi, was something that wouldn't stand for very long and that it certainly at the very least would be challenged very heavily. 22 states have already filed lawsuits against the FCC in order to try to overturn the agreement. And this congressional review appears as though it may be something that would be significant in going back to restoring the neutrality of the internet, which actually returns the internet back to the spirit of the man who created the World Wide Web had actually intended it to be. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, Comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.